Well, hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This is my business partner, Ruthie Buck. I am Jeff Edmiston. We are Virginia Real Estate Agents. But before we get into that, let's talk about what this video is going to be all about. Today, we're going to do a little show and tell and show you all about the pros and the cons of living in Spotsylvania County, Virginia. Like I mentioned, we are Virginia Real Estate Agents. And as much as we like making these, making these videos, teaching you everything there is to know about living, working, and playing in the greater Fredericksburg area, more than that, we like helping people with their real estate needs. So if you have any questions about living, working, or playing here, if you're thinking about buying or selling, give us a call, shoot us a text, email, however you like to communicate, do that, and we will get right back to you, and we look forward to talking to you. So today, we're actually starting our video with one of my absolute favorite pros for this area, and what I call my playground. We are right now out at Lake Anna. Um, oh, look at the cute ducks down below us. This is such an awesome place, a recreational area that anybody and everybody can enjoy and have or be a part of here in Spotsylvania County. Um, there's lots to do. You've got boating, fishing, um, jet skiing. Um, there are also areas like what's behind us right now um, you have Lake Anna Tap House, which is a pretty cool place because look at the grounds. I mean, it's just a very relaxing place where you can eat, have a couple drinks, and then you also have like um, the Italian restaurant up there as well. Behind me is Lake Anna Yacht Club. Um, lots to do on this lake. It's a great size lake. This is one of the huge benefits, I think, of living in Spotsylvania County. Yeah, so Lake Anna is actually about 13,000 acres, which uh, makes it the largest reservoir in Virginia. I forget how many miles of shoreline there is, but it is, uh, it's a big, big lake. Another thing about Lake Anna, we're not at it right now, but you have Lake Anna State Park, mm -hmm. which is uh, it's actually just that way, a couple miles. It is, uh, it's a beautiful state park right on Lake Anna, as the name would suggest. It has a beach as well, and I think Ruthie mentioned in a previous video uh, on holidays and things like that, that park fills up really, really quickly because that beach is so, so popular. Uh, but if you like outdoor life, you like lake life, you've got to check out Lake Anna. In fact, a lot of people end up buying more toward the western part of the county just so they can be closer to Lake Anna. Um, so Jeff is right, and here's actually one of the great things about Lake Anna also is there are so many different marinas, um, places to where you don't have to live on the water to enjoy this. You can store your watercraft at so many of the, the, the different marinas that we have in the area. Okay, something we failed to mention in the intro to the video, and now it's a great time to point it out, is that Spotsylvania is ranked as the 17th best county to live in the state of Virginia. The lake life is certainly a part of that. A lot of other things go into it, but our second pro also goes into it. This is a great area for wineries. We are at the Lake Anna Winery here, but there's a bunch of them around the county and in the general area. We're also beside a very noisy road. <laughs> Yeah, so everybody thinks of California when they think of wine country, but Virginia is coming into its own as wine country as well. And you want to check out some of these wineries. We are into our craft breweries here, but we also are into our wineries, and we highly recommend you check out the Lake Anna Winery. So Jeff's right, Lake Anna Winery is such a great place. They also hold different events here throughout the year. Um, if you go to their website, you can see the different things. And what's even better, once you've enjoyed an entire day on the lake, this is right by the lake, so stop in. So another pro of living in Spotsylvania is the historical significance of the county, of the area. If you are a history buff, you're going to absolutely love Spotsylvania County. I think to quote Ruthie from a previous video, it's pretty much like living in a history book, living in a story history book. Uh, and this is no exception where we are right now. This is the Spotsylvania Courthouse Battlefield. And you can walk the trails in here and you'll see us signs and monuments that will educate you all about the battles that happened here at Spotsylvania Courthouse. This particular 
piece that we're at here now is called the Bloody Angle. Um, but let's talk about the park itself. Aside from the history, which is massive, obviously we're really close to Fredericksburg, which is hugely significant as far as history in and of itself. Spotsylvania County is no different, lots and lots of history. But since we're here, let me talk about this park because this is one of my favorite spots in the county. There are a lot of walking trails, hiking trails. You can find old cabin ruins from farms back in the day. You can do a particular loop here that's about four miles if you're into fitness. I've spent a lot of hours walking these trails. This is a great park. People bring their dogs here. They bicycle here. This is just a fabulous place to get out, enjoy nature, and if I'm quiet for a second, in peace and quiet. Great park, Spotsylvania Courthouse Battlefield. We're just a couple miles away from Spotsylvania Courthouse itself. And if you want to take in the history, make sure you stop, read all the signs, read all the monuments. So would you say, Jeff, this is your playground? <laughs> this, this is one of them for sure. I spent a lot of time here. Um, and you'll find earthworks and like I said, old cabin ruins and lots of, uh, lots of neat things to get out and, and see here. But yes, I've spent lots of hours walking these trails. So I mean, I think even if you're not a um, history buff, I mean, if you just like to exercise and get out and get some exercise, this is a great place to do it because you have ample shade as well. Yep, absolutely. So another one of our pros for Spotsylvania County is actually the cost of living, the affordable cost of living. And especially when you are comparing to other places, such as places north like Fairfax, Prince William County, um, those areas. Um, Right now, we're walking through Salem Fields, which has multiple styles of homes to where you either have detached homes, like where we are now, or you have townhouses, you have um, one level living, you have villas, but there's several areas in Spotsylvania that actually are neighborhoods quite similar to these, where the cost of living is actually not too bad when you compare us to northern areas of the region. All right, so that is the pro. There's a flip side of that coin when it comes to affordability and cost of living. And the con of living in Spotsylvania County is if you are moving here from many other parts of the country, you're probably going to get a little bit of a sticker shock because cost of living here is about 15% higher than the national average. Now, if you're moving here from New York or Arizona or Florida or Rhode Island, a lot of the, the big metropolitan areas, you're probably gonna scoff at that and say your cost of living is just fine and maybe good. But again, the national average is about 15% below what it is here in Spotsylvania. All right, so another pro of Spotsylvania is its location. It's a pretty strategic location for a lot of people. It's pretty much not dead center, but fairly much the middle between DC and Richmond. And that makes it really, really appealing to a lot of people. You can be from here to Richmond or DC roughly in an hour, hour and a half, depending on who's driving, how fast they're driving, what the traffic is, how the traffic is cooperating that day. But it's a great location for people who commute north, who want to get to that lower cost of living, lower cost of housing, get a little more slower pace of life, a little more peace and quiet. Great location for that. Now, as far as just living here, again, you can be to the culture of DC in an hour, hour and a half. You can be to the beach in a couple hours. You can be to the mountains in an hour, hour and a half, depending on where you want to go in the mountains. It's just a great, great location. So if you like shopping, then this is gonna be a huge pro for you. It's actually a huge pro for me. I am standing right now in the village of town Spotsylvania Center. I mean, there is such a wide array of everything in this area. If you want books, we have a bookstore here. If you want shopping and di or dining, let's say dining, you have Bravo over here right in front of us. You have Firebirds over to our left. There is a couple ice cream shops. There's some Italian places to eat. Um, there's also lots of cute, distinctive stores um, that they have here. One of them that we have up here that used to be Charming Charlie's, which unfortunately went out of business. There's now one called Versona, which has a lot of the same stuff, but very boutique-ish kind of things. 
um, or you have like Soma over here to the right. Um, if we keep walking forward, it's going to take us into the mall. And in the mall, you can find everything that you find in any other mall. Um, plenty of shopping and dining in this area. If you want it or need it, it's here. Now that brings us to a con. If you read a lot of the reviews about Spotsylvania County, and that is a lot of people complain about a lack of shopping and dining. And here's where I think that complaint comes from. If you look at a map and you're looking at where the plethora of shopping and dining is, it's all going to be on the eastern edge of the county. So if you live out at the actual courthouse, there's not much there in terms of shopping and dining. There's a few restaurants. Um, but even like grocery shopping, if you live at the courthouse, there's nothing right right there. I mean, there's places not horribly far away. True. But all of the concentration of shopping and dining is at the eastern part of the county. And most people who make that complaint would say, yeah, that's Fredericksburg. That's not, that's not Spotsylvania. That's in Spotsylvania County. But they have a valid point. What do you think about traffic here? Uh, it's a little hairy in this area at times. <laughs> So I-95, all up and down I-95, from, I guess really probably Richmond to D.C., but certainly from Fredericksburg to D.C., is uh, on many days just a nightmare. Uh, but it's largely due, due to congestion. Spotsylvania is not the only area that's growing, like, like we mentioned, lots of these counties are. And there's a lot of people trying to go to... A relatively small space when you talk about the number of people and that's you know they're commuting to, to northern Virginia to DC and there's gonna be lots of lots of traffic but in addition to I-95 which is everybody's problem in Spotsylvania you got Route 3, Route 1, even at times Courthouse Road 208 can get fairly congested with traffic. Well in act and this is all true with traffic but I mean with the outlying areas trying to keep up like actually um 95 is supposed to open up i think all of their hub lanes which they brought all the way down to fredericksburg now all right another con that a lot of people cite when they're talking about spotsylvania is the fact that if you live here you probably more than likely have a fairly long commute because you're probably working somewhere in northern virginia or dc um, while there are a lot more jobs in spotsylvania than there used to be still a lot of people have to travel north if you're if you're working locally you got to have a broader skill set to accomplish the same type of job and the same type of pay so most people end up going to northern virginia dc for work and that's a long long commute so that's one of the cons of living here of course you know we can tie all these pros and cons together the flip side of that is the cost of living you get a much better cost of living here than you do in those northern virginia counties so everything is you, know, you have to weigh the good and the bad. What's most important to you? you know, is it more important to you to have a little slower pace of life, a better cost of living, or to drive less time to work? You, know, you make the decision. So I'm standing in a spot right now where I, in many of past years, have spent a lot of time. We are in Loriella Park, um, which facilitates a lot of activities for, I mean, children, adults, uh, people of all ages. Um, over here where you're seeing right now, that is the recreational facility where you can sign up for all sorts of different recreational activities, whether it be tennis lessons, baseball, soccer, um, for all ages, um, actually. Um, here at the park, you've got the ball fields over here. You also have not only the ball fields, you've got soccer fields that are actually straight ahead of us. There's tennis courts as well. Um, you also have such a great pool over here, a deep pool. And I tell you what, at the beginning of summer when they open that pool, that water is cold. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, they have the, I mean, a lot of pools in the area don't have diving boards, but this one actually has diving boards, which is great for kids. Um, you've got tot lots out here. You also have basketball courts. Um, you also have a, it's not a Frisbee park. What is it, Jeff? The Frisbee disc, golf. Disc golf. Yeah, disc. Um, so disc golf as well over there. 
Um, it's a beautiful area um, and just great for all the different activities that um, we have here. Definite pro for Spotsylvania County. All right, so the last pro that we're going to talk about today, and, and I feel like it's a very important pro for a lot of people. We have a lot of veterans mm -hmm. in this area, and a lot of veterans coming to the area. What you see behind us is a an under construction VA clinic, Veterans Administration Clinic. In fact, when it's done, it's going to be the largest VA clinic in the United States. It's four stories and right now they are anticipating serving 29,000 veterans a year wow. at this clinic. So that's a massive, that's huge. massively important thing for our, for our area and potentially for a lot of you who are considering moving to this area as well. So we are still in Spotsylvania County. We're right off of Route 1 near an area we call Cosner's Corner. I'll pop up a map and show that to you. Uh, but right here, serving Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania, soon to open a brand new nation's largest VA clinic. And actually, a huge pro for Spotsylvania. We've had in past years numerous clients that have contacted us and have asked us um, that are they were coming to the area and asked, well, where's the closest VA center? Um, because we do have so many vets in this area. Yep, and now we can say, right here. Right. It, it's right here. All right, so today we talked about lots of different pros and cons. We hit on some great, great things about living in Spots. I mean, you like the lake life and the outdoor activities and the shopping and dining. We hit on some of the cons, you know, the traffic, the, the rapid growth. Um, Lack of, lack of shopping and dining way out in the county, all those things. So we, we're trying to give you information to help you make a best decision for you and your family as to whether this is the right place to, to come or not. So that's our take on the pros and cons of living in Spotsylvania. So if you like what you see and you are learning from what we're posting, then like our video, subscribe to our video, and share our video. Absolutely, tap that little bell icon so you never miss yeah. something, right? And again, I am Jeff Edmiston. This is my business partner, Ruthie Buck. We are Virginia Real Estate Agents. And as much as we like doing these videos, helping teach you, we like even more helping you with your real estate needs. So if you have any questions at all about real estate, about living, working, playing in the Fredericksburg area, call us, text us, send an email, <laughs> smoke signals sometimes we'll answer as well. We look forward to talking to you and helping you. And we will see you in the next video. In the next video.